Good evening, guys. Y'all look amazing. My name is Jason Wayne. I'm going to be your host for the evening. Welcome to the 2018 Harder School Awards. Make sure you see yourself for being here. We ordered this so that I do not go immediately following. Because um, uh, everyone might be a little tired after this. Um, good evening, um, and welcome to the third annual Heart of the School Awards. It, it feels great to be able to say third. Way before we had any idea what this night would look like, before we had a name for it, before we had a single partner or had received our first nomination for a principal, we knew we wanted to create an annual tradition for our city that celebrates and thanks our school leaders for their extraordinary commitment to the children of Baltimore. So tonight, as I once again stand at this podium at the magnificent Hippodrome Theater, again donated by the incredible team here, it is with pride and gratitude that I say welcome to the third annual Heart of the School Awards, and it is in fact starting to feel like a tradition. Before we go any further, I want to take a second just to thank everyone for being here. Thank you to our elected officials and members of the Board of School Commissioners who are here in force. Yes, this is right. Good evening. It's wonderful to be here, and I want you to know I had one or two people tell me on my way in that I forgot this year. Who was here last year? Okay, good. I forgot to put my girlfriend was here. I forgot. I forgot. So um, I'm gonna, you know, have to slip in really quickly when I get home and put on the girlfriend shoes when I get home. But I don't have one tonight. Um, but it is great to be here, and I think what makes tonight so special is that truly the heart of our schools and the linchpin, frankly, of what I believe is the uh, renaissance of Baltimore City Public Schools, that we are at the precipice of that. Um, you are sitting in this room tonight. You are the school leaders, you are the principals, and I promise my girls, first Ms. Adams, are you here? Wait a minute, is Sheila Adams here? Okay, good, I just want you to know, because Talia and Francesca, who are my two babies, said, <laughs> um, and you should know that you have their vote, Mrs. Adams. You should know that. Um, but I just want you to know that what is clear to me is that you all here, as school leaders, really are um, the ones who are our best kept secret, our major leverage, our fulcrum of change. You are the ones who extend yourselves on behalf of our young people and our community. And tonight, I want you all to just celebrate being amazing. I want you to celebrate yourselves. I want you to celebrate your colleagues. I want you to know that all of the public officials and funders and sponsors are here tonight because we recognize the work that you do every day is not work for the cowardly. It is not work that only you know anybody off the street can do. In fact, you all are part of an elite group and an elite force who has said that in spite of all that our nation is going through, all that our city is going through, you press on on behalf of our kids. And that is worth celebrating. Yeah. to nominate a principal for this award. 
We asked them to tell us the way the principal values students, staff, and families, how the principal sets high expectations, and how it feels to be in the school and around that principal. This year, 826 individuals took the time to tell us why their principal was the heart of the school. They nominated a total of 96 individual principals in our school system. Those are our highest totals to date. Now, we cannot go any further in this program without honoring tonight's true VIPs. So if you are a principal, can you please rise? Award nominee from Callaway Elementary School, Miguel Cervantes. Woo! 